I'm Christy and this is Crotege and this is a video about dog food. For a long time I've wanted to make my dogs homemade food and I just didn't know how to do it. I was unsure if they were going to get what they needed nutritionally and I was just scared to do it. I thought it would be this big complicated thing. I've had my dogs on a number of really high quality foods for years and recently I've had them on a vegan food that they liked, but like all the other foods, they'll like them for a couple of weeks and then they get tired of it and they're very picky and don't want to eat very much. And I have one dog that's actually was fairly thin and I just felt like I wanted, wanted to do something great for him and make his food. So I finally decided to do it. My mom got me a crock pot right here. Um, it's not a huge one, but it's a great size. It just sits on my counter. I don't have a stove, so um, that was great to use. If you have a stove, maybe you could just use a pan or something. Um, and so the main ingredient for the dog food is actually the pulp from my juicer. I'm using my backup travel juicer right now, which is a Black & Decker, and the pulp from that juicer is actually really wet and actually has a lot of the food still in it. So it's great as far as the dog food. Um, for them getting all those vitamins and minerals and protein. I juice kale, carrots, collards, you name it, and I just make sure I don't juice anything that's not dog friendly. So of course you're not going to put anything that's going to make your dogs sick or you know not do well in your dog food. That's kind of a no-brainer. So you might have to Google things if you if you want to throw your own mix in. It's really easy to do. So I'll tell you what I put in my dog food. So I always put the pulp from the juicer in. Like I said, I will put pulp from two juicings in there. I just save it up in a container and then, um, and then dump it in the crock pot. Then I put a little bit of coconut oil, and I'll do probably a quarter cup, maybe a little bit more, maybe a third, and stir that around. I then put some oatmeal, and I just get this bulk. So, and I'll put maybe, you know, half a cup, of, of oatmeal in there or maybe more. I just kind of eyeball it. Same with brown rice. This time I got them some green lentils. I wanted to kind of mix it up a little bit and I read that this is really good for them. Uh, sweet potatoes. They love the potatoes. I also bought red potatoes this time, which I think they're going to really dig. Um, what else do I put in it? Water. Um, I put all that stuff in there, stir it up, and then basically fill it up with filtered water until the container is full. So it will, basically the rice and the oatmeal will expand and it'll bring it up to that water level. So it makes actually quite a bit of food. This is my last batch that I made for them. It actually, it smells amazing. I can smell today. I can't always smell and it just, it smells really good. This one I had some extra cabbage leaves and some celery, like the ends of celery, and I put that in there and it just really smells amazing. That's the other thing I'll put in is just food scraps that I have, anything that's edible for the dogs, um, even just to flavor it and then I won't actually give it to them. Um, I did just started, start putting in the coconut oil. Like I said, this is really good for skin and coats for dogs. I, I have one that has a little bit of an itchy coat issue, he's got wiry hair. So that's been great for them. They absolutely love this food. This food will last me you know, several days, and we even share it with one of their best friends. And they love, love, love it. And I feel really good about the nutrition they're getting. I actually do still mix it up with their vegan food that they're getting, and so it just kind of gives me a piece, a little bit of peace of mind about their nutrition. But I mean, I'm thinking th this is amazing nutrition. I, I, you can you can also go look at natural dog foods and see what's in there and then just put that in yourself. But it's so simple, you guys. This is something that I thought was so complicated and it's so easy. I mean, you flip the little on switch, bam, it cooks by itself, and then I just scoop it in the container and use it all week. And seriously, they love it. My little one has put on the weight that he needed to put on, and actually the, the other one, my other little dog, Robbie, who I thought would just get enormous on this stuff because he tends to overeat, isn't. He's, he's just eating enough and he looks great. Both of their coats, I already see a difference. Um, they really look shiny and healthy, and, uh, and I've gotten actually compliments on, on how they look from people they, that know them and asked what I was doing differently. So I highly recommend doing this. I got all of these ingredients for less than $10 
except for the coconut oil. So I'm going to say, yeah, it was, it was 10 to 10 to 15 bucks for all of that. I didn't actually add it up, but I know from the receipt that it was, it was about that much. Anyway, live love, be you guys, and happy dog feeding. Have a great day.